Hey there fellow hungry travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Montreal and today we're going to talk about what you should eat when you come here to Montreal because this city is a gastronomic gem when you're looking at places to eat in North America. So many great restaurants, so many different types of food to have when you're here but there's some truly traditional Montreal eats you gotta have and I'm gonna go through the eats but also some other tips when you're looking to eat when you are here and, and if we look at the food you have to have let's start with breakfast and one of the things you have to have and not just for breakfast but pretty much any time of the day are Montreal bagels or as they call them here just bagels you don't have to use the Montreal part in it okay and the bagels you get them all over town but two of the more famous places you can go to are our Fairmont Bagel, you can go to St. Viator Bagel Shop, which is in um, the Plateau, Montreal area. Both are fantastic, and honestly, you can get great bagels anywhere. But what makes Montreal bagels a bit different than like New York style bagels or other kind of bagels is they're a little bit smaller, but also the dough is a little bit sweeter, okay? So just be aware of that when you're picking your toppings to put on top of them, okay? But you can get them all different kinds of flavor. You want sesame seed, poppy seed, plain, you want to, there's all kinds of different flavors you can get. But yes, you gotta get the bagels when you are here. Now the second thing you have to have, let's move towards our lunchtime snack, or I guess meal maybe, is a smoked meat sandwich. If you're not sure what smoked meats are, it's literally meat that gets cooked and smoked. You know, like thinking about it, you're, when you're smoking your meat for your, your brisket, your barbecue back home, they do that to the meats here. And a smoked meat sandwich, if you like smoked brisket, oh my God, you gotta go to Schwartz Deli and get a smoked meat sandwich. It is just phenomenal. It's so simple. It's bread, some mustard, smoked meat, maybe some more mustard if you want to put some more on top, and that's it and you eat that and oh my god it is so good and I know Schwartz's Deli is probably the most famous place for it and if you go at lunchtime the lines are kind of crazy so go in the afternoon you can just walk up and sit at the diner bar it's fantastic but you can get the smoked meat sandwiches all over town and they're well worth having it is fantastic like that's a nice thing and the thing is you can get that smoked meat other places too and that leads me into the third thing you have to have when you come here to Montreal and that is poutine and I'm sure if you've ever watched anything about Canadian food or Quebec food or French Canadian food, poutine always comes up. And what it is, the base is French fries, cheese curds, and they pour gravy on top. It is phenomenal. Yes, it can be a bit messy, but it is so tasty and so wonderful. And you can get it all over the city, okay? Even if you go to the depths, you can get it from the like, little corner stores sometimes. But you want to go to a real like restaurant or cafe or restaurant to get it because, oh my God, it's so good. And the thing is, you can get it like normal plain which is just the, you know the fries cheese curds and gravy or you can get smoked meat on it bacon on it i've seen there's like fried chicken on it i mean there's so many different ways to have the poutine but you have to have it when you're here and and, and the thing is is when you're going around town when you're here you'll see all these the, all these outdoor patios but they're terrace they're terraces they like to call them a terrace and you actually can sit outside during the summertime during the winter time no okay unless there's like a covered thing it's a little too cold here in the winter to eat outside but during the summer sitting out on the terrace and just taking it in and watch the people go by having some of the great craft beer that's here and having your poutine with your friends is something you have to do but the thing is look around for sans cassette they'll say it'll look like 5 a 7 okay which is basically happy hour so from 5 to 7 you can get some good deals on drinks and food and snacks and that's where you could get some of the good beer maybe some poutine when you're here just to kind of be out and about and what's cool that Sanka Sit is a good time to meet locals because they're out as well okay now if you're looking for different styles of restaurants when you come here you have a plethora of options here in Montreal this is a really great melting pot of cuisines from all over the world here in Canada you want to get Portuguese food you can get great Portuguese food oh my god get roasted chicken from one of the Portuguese joints or actually any of the places that have roasted chicken here it's gonna be fantastic you like Lebanese food yeah you can get great Lebanese food when you're here head up to Little Italy and get some great Italian food Chinatown there's so many great international cuisines that are here and it's people that have immigrated from here and they brought the cuisine so it's legit Portuguese food legit Italian food versus you know Panda Express Chinese no 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 it's really Szechuan chicken from Szechuan I mean it's a whole different level when you're here so go and try multiple kinds of cuisines when you are here whether you want Afghani food Iranian food. I mean there's just so much here that you're gonna love so make sure you go out and explore but I think the one kind of 
international cuisine you'll see the most are the French bistros when you're here, right? And I mean, let's be honest, I mean, Montreal's got French heritage. They speak French here. And when you go out to the French bistros, you're gonna get some really good French food. So yes, you will see the foie gras, you know, the duck liver pate, you will see that pop up. And yes, you could get that on poutine in certain places. But for me, the steak fleets, which is steak and fries, is, is something you can't pass up when you're here. But those little French bistros are always a good choice for something that's a little bit nicer and, and just takes you to a different place. So that's really good to have when you're here. And if you're looking for different neighborhoods to go out and eat, I mean, th that's the one thing you have to realize is eating here in Montreal is very much a neighborhood thing. Just like Montreal is a city of neighborhoods. So if you're gonna be here in old Montreal, do realize if you're at the Place Jacques Cartier, yes, there's restaurants here with decent food around this area, but you're gonna pay a lot more than if you're going to other parts of the city. So you might wanna go out and explore. I know I like to go to the Plateau Montreal neighborhood and go eat out there because a lot of great restaurants that are there, a lot of great shops to go to as well. So that might be an area you wanna check out for a little bit lower price than here in the old part of Montreal. And one thing is when you're going around Montreal, you're gonna notice they really like their beer here and like really like their beer. And when you go around, you're gonna notice that people drink a lot of craft beer, locally produced beer here in Montreal and around Quebec. That's what you're gonna drink. There's not one overall, this is one beer you have to have. There's just a lot. And so if you're a local, tell us your favorite beer in Montreal to have so us tourists can have some of those good brews when you're here. But the thing is, is when you go around, you're gonna have some beers, but I will warn you, if you're coming into Canada, their beer might be a little bit stronger than you're used to at home. So just have a heads up when you're out enjoying an adult beverage or two. Um, and after you enjoy your adult beverage, there's some other snacks you might wanna grab. You can get a, a steamy, or it's basically a hot dog. If you wanna get a Montreal hot dog, basically it's basically mustard, relish, onions, and sauerkraut on top. Yes, it's perfect for after drinking to uh, impress your lady friend or man friend because who doesn't like onion and sauerkraut smell? But actually it is pretty good because it mixes together well. So that's a quick, cheap eat you can grab and you can grab those during the day too. And you'll see a lot of places, a lot of hot dog places and hamburger places if you're looking for a cheap eat. And what's cool is the hamburgers here, I know it sounds silly, but going basic with the burgers here in Montreal, you can't go wrong because you get good fries and you'll get a good burger with it. So that's something too. And there's all kinds of just little delis, little shops, little places you can go and grab food in your year. One, one of my friends who lives here told me you gotta go to Winsky's, you know, light lunch and get their Walensky special, which is basically just a salami and bologna sandwich, which is actually a lot tastier than it sounds. And when you're exploring the city, don't forget to go to some of the markets when you are here because you do have the Jean Talon market if you're going out in Little Italy. If you're gonna be here in old old Montreal, you got the, the Marche Bon Secours you can go to and you can grab some stuff there, some snacky dues, which is nice, just to kind of pick some stuff up to have back at your hotel, which is good, or just to snack on while you walk around. Having a picnic in some of the parks is really a thing you wanna do in Montreal in the spring and the summer. Now, another thing you need to realize is when you're going out to eat here in Montreal, one, they do have sales tax on products and when you go out to eat, so you have a sales tax on that's added on. Also, you do tip when you go to the restaurants here. So the price you see at the restaurant when you sit down to eat, you're probably gonna end up paying more than that. So just wanted to give you the heads up on it. And one thing that's great is all this great food they have here in Montreal means there's a lot of really good food tours you can go on when you're here. So if you're not sure what great food to have when you're in Montreal, take a tour and there'll be one that might just give you a bagel special or a poutine tour or a, the highlights of Montreal cuisine. You can do those and you can enjoy that when you're here. So I hope this helps you know some of the good food to have when you are here in Montreal because there's a lot. And yes, of course, you can always start the day with some great maple syrup from here in Quebec, you know, on your pancakes or many other other things you might want maple syrup on. Yes, you can have that too in case you think I wasn't gonna mention that. But honestly, Montreal is one of the best eating cities you can go to in North America. So, if you wanna learn more, check out uh, the comments below for more information on places to go eat and enjoy and drink when you're here. If you have more tips on Montreal food, also leave in the comment section to help people out. I wish you all the best. If you wanna learn more about Montreal, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. Bye from here in Montreal.